Hey guys, it's Jules here. If you'd like to see how I do this beautiful, natural, smoky um, Valentine's Day makeup look with my new Urban Decay Naked 3 palette right here, then just stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Alright, so to start off, I'm just going to um, clip my hair back really quick and then I'm going to do my face, which um, isn't very exciting. It's just my everyday face routine. And then I will start doing my makeup and I'll just fast forward that part. So, yeah. Okay, I don't know why it's washing my face out so much, probably because I'm right in front of my window, but um, this is just my basic face routine. Um, I'm going to put on the blush later, and yeah, so let's get started into the eyes. Alright, and for the eyes, I'm going to zoom myself in a little bit, so you guys can see better what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This one is in Eden. I like this one because it's... Uh, kind of a matte color so you know um, the color payoff on top of it is a lot better especially if you want your colors to stand out so I definitely like that and I'm going to blend that out with a little brush just because my nails are so long I can't really do it with my nails I just got them done for Valentine's Day and they're really cute but they're super long, so I definitely can't blend that out with my nails. Okay. Alright, next I'm going to be using this um, Rimmel Scandalize. Um, it's just in this champagne color. I forget what it's called. Soft Bulletproof Beige. Okay. Wouldn't really associate bulletproof with beige, but that works. And we're just going to put that all over our lid, up a little bit into the crease. And then just a little bit on the bottom. So that, that's going to really help our um, the eyeshadow that we put on the bottom just really stick. Alright. You can blend that out if you'd like. Um, I usually don't, but I'll just do it a little bit. It gets blended out nicely when we put on the colors. So today for this tutorial I'm going to be using my new Naked 3 palette which I'm so so excited about. If I can find it anywhere. Here it is. Alright so then this is the Naked 3 palette. I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube. All over everywhere. Um, yeah so let's just play around with some colors and we'll see how this goes. I'm going to start off with Dust, which is this sparkly pink one right here. We're going to put this right in the inner part of our lid. And see how well it just sticks right on there if you use the, the primer and the eyeshadow stick, I always do it like that. And I use a waterproof eyeshadow stick so it sticks even more. Alright, and now we're going to take this color right here, Trick, which is one of my favorite colors in this palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful rose gold. And we're just going to take just another brush that we have on hand here. And we're going to take that. 
and just put that right in the middle blending that into that other color we just had there And this is going to be great for Valentine's Day. It's not like super Valentine's y, but it's just beautiful. It's natural, but it's sparkly. It's going to be great. I love that. Love this color. I love this whole palette just because I think that it goes with my skin tone really well because I kind of have some red undertones in my skin tone. Alright. And now we are going to take um, this pinkish color, Buzz mid-tone pink I would call that and we are going to just pop that right on next to our other colors bring some depth into the outer corner A lot of people have been saying that the Naked 3 palette is a little bit overrated, but I definitely have not found that. I mean, I think that these colors are a lot more unique than the other Naked palettes. I would definitely say this one is my favorite Naked palette. Um, I feel like the colors are super original, super unique, and really beautiful on my skin tone. Um, I'm sure a lot of people feel that way, that this just really complements their skin tone very well. So I've been in love with it. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to get some matte up into the mix, and we are going to put Limit, which is this one right here, just my favorite matte pretty much ever that Urban Decay has made. This one and the one in the Vice 1 palette, best mattes for blending that out. We're going to just take that on another fluffy brush and just go right on there, blend it on out. doesn't really matter how high you go because we're going to reel it back in a little bit. This color is just so perfect. It really helps blend the sparkly colors right on in and it defines your um, crease without being too dark. Hmm, I love that. That is so beautiful. Alright, now we're going to go in with a smaller brush. A little tip like this. I'm sure you know what it looks like. And we're going to take the darker color Nooner, which is right here, and we're going to go in there and bring some definition into our crease. And that's just really going to bring a little bit of definition. And then with that same brush, we're going to go over here and take Factory, which is this brownish color right here <coughs> and we're going to put that in our outer V just put it right in the crease right there this is really going to smoke out our eye look but it's not going to make it too heavy, you know, it's still a really wearable look, especially if you're going out. You know, it's appropriate for nice nighttime, but, you know, you can wear it during the day too. I would definitely wear this during the day. Alright, then we're just going to take a tiny, tiny bit of black heart, which is this last color right here. Really beautiful black with some, like, cherry um, undertones. Super pigmented though, so just pick up a tiny bit and just put that on the very corner alright alright so that's looking nice I'm going to go back with a blending brush and just kind of make sure that we have that all blended out right here. Still looking nice. 
All right. Looking good. Looking good. Um, sometimes, I think it's just the way that my eye is shaped, I get like a tiny bit of fallout. So I'd like to just take one of these brushes and just kind of wipe away at the corners. Just kind of clean things up a little bit. Now we're just going to take the brush that it comes with. And I'm going to this strange right here, which is the light color. I love this color as well for the highlight. And we're just going to put that right under our brows. It's going to keep that darkness in. And we just go down here as well. These mattes are great for just, you know, putting the boundaries on our darker colors. And we are just going to take this color in Liar which is this one and not super dark brown it's more of like a medium taupe color and we're just gonna put that right on our lower lash line about halfway in that's just gonna smoke it out a little bit that doesn't look too heavy on the top you know it kinda goes full circle Sometimes it like gets in my eyeball. <laughs> Alright, so our eyeshadow is pretty much done. We are just going to finish off with a little bit of black eyeliner. I used the Kat Von D eyeliner in Trooper. This is a felt tip eyeliner. I don't know, I didn't really like it when I first got it, but ever since I've been playing around with it, it's been pretty good. I mean, it's pretty easy to just throw on. And once you get used to it, it's um, pretty foolproof. And do your eyeliner however, however you'd like. If you're not a super fan of thick eyeliner, then do it as thin as you want. I kind of just do my eyeliner however my luck goes, <laughs> you know, if I can get it thin, then I'll do thin. If not, I just do what I can. Yeah, because see, sometimes I have blinking issues. Alright, so it looks like we have our eyeliner done pretty well over here. Now I'm just going to go in and tight line with some eyeliner. Um, I actually have been using gel eyeliner, but I can't find it at the moment, so I will use this one that we have here. Sorry, my foot fell asleep. This Prestige eyeliner. Um, I think it's just black, yeah. Just put that under there. Yeah, I stopped using this one because it's kind of hard and it scratches my eyes and makes them water a little bit, so hopefully they're not going to water too much today. Alright, so now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes really quick, pop on some mascara, and we'll move on to the cheeks and the lips. I always give my lashes a couple curls to make sure that it really, really curls them. Alright, now I'm just going to be taking this mascara, the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes in Black Lacquer. Um, I really like this mascara. It's not my favorite, but um, my mom did give it to me for Christmas, and it is one of my um, very good mascaras. You know, it's one of my favorites, just not my favorite favorite. So I am just going to use it. I put on a ton of mascara, as I'm sure you guys already know. Just do what you want. If you want to do false eyelashes, that'd be cool. I'm not actually going anywhere tonight. I'm going to work, so <laughs> that won't be necessary. All 
All right, so that's that for the eyes. I'll just show you guys right here what we have for the finished product. So this is a really great Valentine's Day look. You know, it's neutral, but it's still sparkly. Um, it's a little bit smoky, but not anything too overwhelming. Um, I think that it's a really beautiful look. So let's finish it off with some cheeks and lips. I'm going to zoom you out right here. Much better. <laughs> Definitely much better. Okay, so on the cheeks, I'm going to put um, some Max Swoon, which is this really beautiful hot pink color. Um, and I'm just going to be using a stippling brush because it is pretty pigmented, so... And do yeah, however much blush you like. I'm actually kind of one of those people who is a high offender of wearing too much blush because I just like wearing a lot of blush. So this is a really pretty color. It's um pretty natural, you know, if you use the stippling brush and just kind of put it on naturally, but it's also hot pink, so it gives you a little jolt of color. Let's them know that your heart is beating and that you are alive. Beautiful, beautiful, honey. <laughs> All right. So there's our cheeks. Um, I'm super washed out in this lighting, but yeah, it's really beautiful. So I did put a little bit more blush on than usual, just thought it would show in this lighting. <laughs> All right, next for our lips, the number one important thing about Valentine's Day, we want to have some soft lips. So I've actually been using this e.l.f. lip exfoliator a lot, which maybe cost me $2.00. And this is amazing. I have the worst, crustiest lips ever, not even to be gross. But they're always dry. I put on chapstick before I go to bed every night. But they're never, ever moisturized. So this is great, especially if you're going to be wearing um, a color lipstick or a matte lipstick like I'm going to put on today. Um, really just helps get all those extra crusty skins off. I know I'm not sounding pleasing right now to a lot of you guys watching, but... Yeah, and the reason I keep switching it is, um, the one thing about it is once the little, um, lip gloss kind of goes away, you don't have any, like, lubricant to, uh, you know, buff it off. You don't want to just be, like, scraping your lips. But for two bucks, this is great. It's way better than any other sugar exfoliator I've ever had. And it tastes so good. So good. It literally tastes like candy. All right, so just wrap it up really quick here. I am going to finish this look with our NYX Matte um, Lip Cream in Prague, which I'm pretty sure is from the new fall collection. I ordered, like, a ton of them. Really beautiful dusty rose color. These are so great. And once they dry, they stay on forever. And they're, like, a really smooth formula, really good texture. And they stay on all day. All right. All right. So here's our finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, it is my first makeup tutorial in a while. I am going to try and start filming a lot more. I got a ton of makeup for Christmas. And um, I tried to make some videos and do hauls and stuff. But I was filming on my computer and that was just not working. So I'm going to be using my video camera some more. And hopefully you guys like this. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Love you.